channel so I just want to thank Dossier or Dossier for sending me over some goodies so we're gonna go ahead and open these up and see what we got oh wow okay so we got six perfumes and we're gonna open each one and smell them and see how they smell. So the first one is gonna be the citrus green apple and it come in a box just like that. All right, and the citrus green apple is gonna be inspired by Dossier and Gabbana light blue for women. Okay. So it have the notes, the top notes is green apple, lime. Middle notes are gonna be bluebell, jasmine, and rose. And the base notes is gonna be amber, cedarwood, and musk. So I'm, I like the base notes. The concentration is 20%. And we're gonna spray it on. It come just like this. We're gonna spray it on so we can see how it smell. I'm excited about this one. This the bottle that it comes in. And let's smell it. You always want, let me take this off. You always want to spray this on the your wrist area because this the area you wear it, it this the actual smell. So let's do one spray. Alright, let that. So we're gonna let that dry a minute while we go ahead and review the next one. And then we can kind of know what these smells gonna be like. All right, now let's see how it smells so far. It smell good. I do smell like I do smell the lime and the green apple. Yeah, I do smell it. Okay, we're gonna let this see it. All right, the next one is gonna be floral violet. All right, Floral Violet is here. And it's gonna be inspired by the Marc Jacobs Daisy. The top notes is watermelon, pomelo, strawberry. The middle notes are violet, gardenia, and jasmine. And the base notes is musk, vanilla, and blonde woods. Okay, let's smell this one next. Inspired by um, Marc Jacobs. Okay, let's see. Oh, I think I'm gonna like this. I already smelt it. I, I, I think I'm gonna like it. Mm. Okay, so let me see what I'm smelling. I'm smelling more of the musk and vanilla, the blonde woods. Yes, I'm smelling most of the vanilla and the blonde woods. Not much of the vanilla. Let me tell And it could be jasmine or um, grandinia. It's one of it's it's either the middle or the bottom because I don't smell no watermelon or strawberry. Okay. So 
We're gonna let that one sit too. Now we're gonna go back to the green apple and see if it's any change. It did calm down a lot, it smells good. So this was a good pick. And we're gonna let that marinade too. It does smell like Marc Jacobs though, Daisy. I ain't, I ain't no hoes. All right, the next one is gonna be Woody Sage. All right, Woody Sage. It's going to be inspired by Joe Malone, Woody Sage, and Sea Salt Cologne. And the top notes are fig tree, grapefruit. The middle notes are marine notes, ambrite. And the base notes are clary, sage, and amberwood. I love amberwood, so let's see. Let's see. Inspired by Joe Malone. Okay. Mmm. This smells good. Okay. That's like very like summerish, like going on the beach on a nice little date on the beach this is definitely a vacation scent it just smells like fresh mm -hmm. yep it does it, 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 it smells very fresh yes very fresh mm-hmm 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 all right, the next one is going to be one of my favorites that I've all, uh, I have already smelled before, which is going to be the Ambery Cherry. It smells so good. And it's inspired by Tom Ford Lost Cherry. So, Ambery Cherry. It's going to smell real good, y'all. I promise you. And the top notes is going to be cherry, almond, and cinnamon. The middle notes are clove, rose, jasmine, and plum. And the base notes are Peru, balsam, tonka bean, and vanilla. This is a hit right here. I love this. I love this. Spray a bead too. Oh, I'm already smelling it. If you, I'm gonna tell y'all what I normally would, um, and it's up next, but I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all what I put this amber and cherry with. I'm gonna tell y'all what I do with this amber and cherry to make this thing just smell so good. Not just, oh, not for real, but to make your, your clothes, everything smell good, I'm gonna tell you a combination. This by itself smells good. Yes. So, amber cherry, and then you're going to put amber cherry and amber saffron together. That's all I'm saying. So, the amber amber saffron is inspired by Baccarat Rouge 540. The top notes are saffron, orange, and blossom. The middle notes are jasmine, plum, and cedarwood. And the base notes are oak moss, pearl, balsam. I can't say the word for nothing. Balsam and amber. Top two. So I'm going to just spray this on top. I'm going to put one right here because I just want to smell it. I might like Kevin Gates. Yes, Lord. All right, we're going to spray that on top. Top to y'all. So, this ambery saffron. Perfect combo. Perfect combo. Perfect combo. And last but not least,
not least, we have the Ambery Vanilla. All right, and it's going to be inspired by YSL Black Opium, and that YSL smell very good. And it has the top notes of mandarin, pear, pink pepper, and look, licorice. Licorice. And the middle notes is jasmine, orange blossom. The base notes are cedarwood, vanilla, coffee, and patchouli. Alright, let's spread. Let's see what it's smelling like. Oh, that smells so good. Mm. Oh, that smells so good. Okay, why is it a black opium? Okay, so I think I'll pair this with... Let me see. This vanilla. So I'm wearing my black shirt, blue bottom, scrub. Um, jacket and my mic has got my stuff ready for work tomorrow. So I had to go back to my little old faithful, y'all, because as y'all know, the wig that I had, child, I'm finna send it back because no, ma'am. Piece right here, I flat ironed, but when I tried to curl it, it's not gonna curl. This is synthetic. This is synthetic. Look at that. It's already burning. Human hair does not do this. Okay. As you can see. Thank you guys so much for watching the vlog today. I have I have officially got to where I'm able to sit down, eat, watch a little YouTube, and then I'm off to bed for work in the morning. Thank you so much for watching the vlog. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks, it's little. I know. Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. So, I'm finna put this wig on, child. We gonna see how it feels if I need to glue it down or not. I really ain't got time for all this. So, hopefully this thing go on with a headband. Huh? Hopefully it go on with a headband. And, um, I can get on about this house. What time is our... You gave him food and food? Okay. All right. So, y'all, them lab results was coming in like crazy yesterday. I mean, coming in like crazy. So... I told her to run off the test. I be already knowing what's wrong with me before I even get there. I already be knowing. So, I had told her to run the vitamin. Um, well, she asked me while I was taking the prenatal vitamin. She's just like, are you trying to get pregnant? I was like, no, I'm not trying to get pregnant, but, um, you know. I take them because they got all the vitamins in there that I need. That's why I take it. So I take these right here. Vitamin code, raw prenatal. And I don't take them like I should. And that's okay. Yeah, this week definitely gonna need a headband because it's gonna 
come on out there, Cheryl. Somebody try to hug me today. The wig will slide back. <laughs> so. I'm going to go ahead and put this handy dandy headband on. Because I don't have time to glue it. And I don't want to glue it because I won't be wearing it long. See, that changed up the whole game on this week. Like, the whole game. But, at this point, I just gotta wear what I got. I just gotta wear what I got to wear. So that's what we doing right here. Okay. And I know it's this this lash glue because every time I put it on I have my eyes running. So Alright guys, so this is the look. And I'm wearing my Nike shoes here. Shoe lights a little bit too tight, but we ain't even worry about that right now. I'm gonna take a couple of these prenatal vitamins. Let me see if it got vitamin D in there. It do, but it got um uh, 1400, which ain't gonna be a lot. So we gonna do one capsule three times a day. So we're gonna do lunch and dinner. So all I got on is lashes and um, a little foundation. And then I got this um, NYX lip butter and sugar high. Spray me some perfume. And we at this thing. I'll see you guys later on. I gotta go. All right, so I'm getting my package. Thank God that they have like boxes you can use to get your packages. So, give you that. How was your first day in your new home, Ro? Cairo, how was your first day, baby? Hey, three Duke and Mookie. Hi. Oh, baby, me, you, Cairo. I miss my baby boy. You ready to go outside? You ready to go outside? All right, we're going to take him outside so he can kind of walk a little bit. Hi, huh, Arby. So guys, I'm about to get this in and then we're gonna take it outside. We'll be back. Amazon packages 
and I'm gonna be telling y'all about what happened with the Amazon weed, right? So as they should already know, I'm real big, okay? Real big on Instagram and the other little social media things, but Instagram being one. And so what you need to know is you don't know who purchased and what, okay? So with that being said, the company has reached out to me like, hey, our customer service representative team is going to contact you to see what we can do to give you a full refund. Do not contact Amazon and all this type of stuff. It was like, we're going to refund you. We also want you to be a brand ambassador. And we also want, we know other people that you can be a brand ambassador for and all this type of stuff. Yes. So with that being said, what you want me to change my review? Absolutely, I'm not. And then, you want me to be a brand ambassador for you for that raggedy behind wig you gave me? Absolutely not, because I don't I don't have the business like that. So no, we ain't doing it. So anyway, guys, I want to tell y'all about a product. This is not sponsored. This is something that I just researched on my own. And as everyone know, I went to the doctor um, Monday, and I basically was having a lot of pain here on my left-hand side. And I went finally and re-established care because my last doctor, I didn't mention anything to her. I just been really dealing with the pain. And so now I'm, I'm in the process of really going on the recovery to do what I need to do health-wise to kind of help. And it's more of like a bulging disc back there, but it's a lot of other health issues for us with numbness and things like that. I mean, but the doctor, she, she messaged me back on my chart and told me everything looked good only thing was low was my vitamin D level, okay? And so as everyone know, most African-American women are vitamin D deficient. And so with that being said, you either have to incorporate veggies, um, fruit, or a vitamin supplement in order for you to keep your vitamin D levels up. And so some of the symptoms that I had that I feel like really contributed to um, me knowing that something was going on and she did check my vitamin D level because I told her I take pre vitamins because of my vitamin D level and it gave me all the vitamins. And so the symptoms that I was having was I would go to sleep on time and I still would wake up and I still would be like tired or I feel like burnt out. I had a lot of shedding of my hair that just wouldn't stop shedding and my hair is, is, is pretty. And so I was like shedding, also back pain. Muscle pain is a sign of vitamin D deficiency. Hair shedding, vitamin D deficiency. Fatigue, being tired is another symptom of vitamin D deficiency. So just a lot of things that basically kind of show you that you're vitamin D deficient. So I went and I'm going to give me some vitamin D, but I'm going to let a, a herbalist concoct my um, vitamins together because I want all natural. So anyway, I was researching something that can kind of help and something that we lack within the body that can kind of help me on my hair growth journey. And so what I ended up getting was this MSM powder with Optic MSM and it support healthy joints, vibrant hair, skin, and nails. And this come from Amazon. It's the vitamins best. I mean, doctor's best. I'm sorry. So you, it has three grams of MSM. They say that you should start off small and drink it with orange juice because this gonna the orange juice gonna help to basically um, let this be break down in the body the way that it needs to break down. So you're gonna mix three level scoops into eight ounces of juice or beverage of your choice daily, or as recommended by a nutritional informed um, physician. So yeah, this product contains a high quality MSM backed by numerous clinical studies. MSM helps the formulation of healthy connective tissue, overall joint health and mobility. So I do need that. It also helps with, uh, and it's an antioxidant defense. So it helps with that. So a little bit about MSM. MSM provides sulfur. It's basically is known for the nature's beauty mineral. That's what it's known for, sulfur. It's a key component of collagen that supports the skin's structural framework and is a building block 
of keratin, an important constitute of hair, skin, and nails. So this product, I'm going to start using it, and then I'll let y'all know what it do. So this is it right here. You screenshot if you need to. Sorry about the noise out there. They are really loud. Sorry about that. Y'all like Carol's new little, little sweater? Oh, Arvin changed him. I thought he had on the sweater with the hoodie. What this one say? Squirrel Patrol. Okay, the other one was him in his, um, he got a hoodie. But I got him some more little things come on. He's so spoiled, y'all. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open up these boxes and see what's in here. I know these are pillows, but I'm not sure what those are. Okay, so the next box is going to be these much-needed pillows. Can you pass me that or get him because I get just slide the other one over. Because the pillows that I bought, Carol, you're going to get out for a minute. See right there. So these some just some Sealy pillows. Kind of help with my neck and back. Are your pillows doing okay for you? Your pillow? You think it's too flat? You good? She don't be on no pillow anyway. I went to check on her last night, baby. She was all the way out to bed. I mean, she was, baby, she was looking like she was under the seat somewhere fighting dolphins. Hell. And she wonder why folks don't want her to bed with them. Child. Look, I'm going to record her tonight, child, once she go to bed and let her see how she is in the bed. Because I don't think she believe how she be in that damn bed. These pillows was high as hell. But your girl needs some relief. So this one is just like a little back cover. Yes. I needed this. I needed this, Lord. Yes, Lord. I'm like Kevin Gates. Yes, Lord. So that's going to help me a whole lot. A whole lot. All right, this is the second one. Basically, both of them the same pillow. I just got a two-pack. My pillow I got in my room is pretty flat. And that one over there is still wet from whatever we had going on there. And then the next one is going to be what? I don't have a clue. Just slide it, please. It's heavy. You're going to slide it over there while you, what's name? Thank you. So I did get an ice cream maker because we're going to start making ice cream. And then like when people come over, like my nephew now. I got to ask Eric, do we Miguel like ice cream? Oh, so yeah, I let him make his own ice cream. That little silly rabbit. Oh, I think these are, um, mm, I think these are the bases. We'll do the best we can to get it out of here. Oh. Mm. You girl struggling. I know I may say everybody's loud. Y'all, y'all got to understand, we not used to neighbors like this. My neighbors was quiet. I didn't bother them, they didn't bother me. And it just seemed like this little boy, he be over at my house. I see him on my ring light, he be over here. Why ain't y'all watching this baby? One time she, he was, uh, he had got out. Girl, I was crying laughing on that ring. She know where the fuck he was. Why the baby was right here by my own um, wall. Did you see it on the ring? That's cool. That's... She ain't watching him, is it? How you feel about that? It's 
crazy. She was so damn frantic. She was like, like, where the hell he at? You got some? No, it's fine. These boxes are pretty weak. here I got white because I want to kind of counteract with my table and I did do a two-piece it's real cute it's real cute be here tomorrow <laughs> hopefully all right this is the second base here cute so real cute i be having so many boxes child all right now i'm gonna show y'all how these vases look with um i'm gonna show y'all the bases once i put the little things in there so i'll be right back all right so i bought these little um pumple grass and i don't know if these may be a little bit too long but we're gonna see let's put the big ones in first Cause they equal. We got some silver. And as y'all know, this was not the spot that I wanted, so I won't be here long, baby. We here for a short time. One year. touch this shit because it's going to be flying everywhere. What's the directions on this? What would it take me to get some shit like this? Knowing all life's still flying everywhere. Let me see if this thing has some directions. I know it said wait, well, anyway, this ain't saying nothing. Alright, so that's the first one. And then this is the second one. It say it may shed. So we're going to do... Well, shit, this is cover me up all the way. So we're going to do two. Kyra, you, you got some dogs close. We're going to do two and two. So we're going to add a hint of um, this color right here in here just to see what it do. Now, they did say it may shed a little bit. Yeah, may shed a little bit. I shouldn't even got this. I'm gonna just put I'm gonna put that over there and in here. No too short. Cute. That is cute. I just 
we got these two, now I got to figure out where I'm going to put it. What you think? I had my mind set on what I want to do with it. I'll let y'all know what I do with it in a minute because I don't know where I'm going to put them. I got orange. So Arbor has cooked dinner, chicken fried steak, corn, and rice. And she's gonna have her watermelon. And she's gonna warm up my um the both our gravies. So proud. So this is the um thing that I told y'all about. It sheds a whole lot, so beware of that. And then I just put the rest in here. A couple in there and kept my base like that and then this is the other one so this is how it really looks pretty cute and cozy now I'm just need to put these end tables up and then I'll see what else I need to do but other than that we coming along we coming along we coming along It look good. Gonna kill it. I I be back. Tell him say bye. Only been a few hours but it felt like days. Only been days but it felt like months. Only gone for a year, only go like once.